today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the the GIMP tools and stuff um, but the main focus um, I kinda wanted to go to is um, the um, add-ons you could get for for GIMP and stuff uh, I've, I've had quite a few questions on on which ones I had and, and where I got them and stuff so I decided to go ahead and, and uh, make a video video sorry to uh, show exactly where I got them and, and uh, how I got them and all that so let's go ahead and get started I went to um, GIMP.org um, which is where you go to get GIMP course and then I clicked on the plugin registry and I went over here well actually let's go ahead and do that I went to the plugin registry and they got all kinds of stuff you could go ahead and um, you could add your own plugins and stuff here if you'd like um, So, I don't know if they reopen people to log in or uh, sign, sorry, to go ahead and start a new account on here yet or not. I know that they said that they were going to disable that because of all the spammers they have been getting. But anyways, you come in here and you look through here and there are all kinds of um, scripts and stuff you could get for your GIMP. This is where I go most of the time to uh, get all of my stuff. I mean, you could go and you could search on Google and stuff, and you could find other websites out there uh, for people that make their own and stuff. But what I found um, is that you get everything right here. And really, um, what I do um, if I ever have to uninstall GIMP for some reason or get a new PC or something like that I always come here and then I go to the left side over here and I click on popular content and th these are all the scripts and stuff that are are very popular on GIMP and what I do is I go down here and I look for the GIMP extension pack extensions pack for Windows and I click on here and this is what I get and they keep this up to date um, so and it's got 32 bit and 64 bit I don't know if there's one out there for Mac I do apologize for that I, I don't use Mac um, my preference don't hate me but I uh, my preference is Windows and so um, this is for Windows I don't know like I said I don't know if they have any for Mac or not you could search over here um, maybe oops I didn't type that right print or contact sheet I guess not. I don't know. Maybe you could go into Google and search something if you're on a Mac to see if they have any for Mac. But this one has uh, a bunch of extensions. Like I said, this is um, this is what I use, um, and it it's got an installer for Windows, and it installs everything. I mean, everything you can need. The script foo. Um, it even installs GMIC and all that good stuff. Uh, now I'm on Windows 8 and I have found a problem with this. Um, when you go ahead and you click on the uh, GAP, the, the GIMP animation package, when you click on that and you press install, um, there is something missing for the support for Windows 8 and like I said I haven't figured out what that is yet and I haven't really had time to look into it but I will and after you install it if you want that there will be an error that pops up when you go and start your GIMP every time now it's not gonna mess anything up but um, whatever file is missing on GIMP that that um, is not going to work for 
whatever that is that's missing. I really don't know what it is yet. I haven't found it yet. And I haven't done um, really any animations in GIMP in a while. Um, so with that being said, it's it's that simple if you're on Windows. You just come right here and it says get the latest version and then it'll automatically um, download from SourceForge but I already have it so I don't want to re-download it and like I said you just click install on whatever you want it's got the plugin scripts GIMP Paint Studio um, file type support and, and the gap um, and it tells you everything that it has here it's got the GIMP Paint Studio, the brushes, the dynamics, gradients, palettes, patterns, splashes, tool presets, um, file support is AP, APNG, direct draw surface, J, JPEG, XR, I'm not even going to pronounce that one, it's got WebP, import slash export, um, it's, it's got everything, it's got normal maps, um, for uh, 3D, um, it's got um, save for web. And it's just like uh, Photoshop's. And I have found a couple flaws with that, but for the most part, it does its job. It's got an anim, anim stack, um, which is if you there's the guy that that done this puts tutorials out. Um, I don't use this because it is kind of complicated and yeah I just I, I, I don't understand that I, I I give props to the guy that made it I'm not down in it at all but I just kinda wish that it was a little bit easier to use but anyways um, it's got all kinds of stuff on here maybe it don't install gmix I thought it did I don't know. Maybe I thought it did. I thought it did. But if not, then you just go and you um, go to just go to. Uh, what am I doing here? Sorry. You just type in GMIC. And you click on there, and I've shown this many a times, but you just click on GMIC for GIMP, and they have installers for Windows and Linux and Mac. Yeah, okay. So that's all you do. And you could go ahead and just look through here. It's got UF Raw, um, all kinds of stuff in here. I just whatever you want you kind of look and see what all they have here you got this 3d screenshot I don't know what that is and the picture don't show up so I don't know. You you would just have to look through here, but for my setup, that is basically that's basically all I got installed was th that uh, the extension pack for Windows, and that installs pretty much everything that I want or that I need, and then I got GMIC installed. And like I said, it, it installs pretty much anything that you that you'd want or need. Um, like I said, if you're more into uh, you know taking photos and stuff like that, um, it's got it's got some stuff in here for that. And then you can look through the plugin registry and check some more of that stuff. I know a lot of people use Darkable and and uh, a couple other things that are free out there. 
but they got all kinds of cool stuff I, I just wanted to make a little video on that and I'm sure that I will go through matter of fact I know that I will go through and um, we'll be showing uh, some videos on these different uh, features that GMIC has and that some of this stuff does and like I said some of this stuff I have previous tutorials um, like for the animations and stuff I didn't use a lot of this stuff um, it's got a fire animator and and all kinds of stuff in here um, then it installs the video which is the gap and this is you could use this um, to go and you could I don't have any videos that I want to do in this anyways but you can make GIFs and stuff from videos on this and all that kind of good stuff um, there, there's a lot of cool stuff in here you just have to go through and and check it out and like I said that I'm going to do some tutorials on this stuff now when you uh, install GMIC which for some reason it installed the 32-bit version on my computer but whatever um, you could go down here and have the internet checked and there's this little refresh button down here and you just click on that and if they add any new ones like see it was 679 before now it's 682 if they add any new ones to it it automatically downloads to this and so you don't have to go and, and re-download and, and uh, add all that stuff so that's kind of a cool feature uh, for this they got all kinds of pretty cool stuff on here they got this drop shadow 3d thing and anyways it's pretty cool so I just I just kinda wanted to go over that and show you guys what I have installed here and pretty much with just them two installs that's pretty much all you would need unless you know you do um, more type of photography stuff and, and all that more than just photo manipulation or or drawing um, I think that is just about it that I wanted to to show you on this Man, I don't know why. Um, for now, let's see. And then I could, uh, I think I'm going to start doing some short videos on just a little bit on what some of the stuff is. Um, that's another reason why I did this tutorial too, because so I could go over some of the tools with you guys. And like I said, I think that is it. That is all that I needed and wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's just, like I said, it's just going in over a little bit of the plugins and, and uh, where to get them and stuff like that. Alrighty. I appreciate it, and you have a good day.